Hey guys, Tech Adventure with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix screen mirroring not working or AirPlay not working on your iPhone to a TV or anything you're looking to AirPlay or a screen mirror to. So let's get started. So first thing is, if you're having this issue, I generally recommend is pulling down the top menu from here, and we're basically going to turn on airplane mode for a moment and then turn it back off. And what it does is a quick network refresh if you're having connectivity issues because the way AirPlay and screen mirroring works is through your actual Wi-Fi. So the next topic that we're going to talk about is having both your device that you're looking to mirror using the same Wi-Fi. So you want to verify this Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi that your TV is connected to or your monitor, whatever you're airplaying, is on the same network. So it's important that both of them are on the same network. Now, you know, if you confirm that, that they're both on the same network, the next thing is to do is a force restart your iPhone and then also restart your TV or the external device that you're looking to screen mirror or screen or airplay. So in order to force restart your iPhone, you're going to do volume up and then down. You're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold this big side button on your right hand side till the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears and then you'll let go of that button. So it's going to be volume up, volume down and then I hold this side button just like that and all I do is just wait till the screen goes black. I'm not going to slide to power off. I'm just going to keep on holding that button and then I will let go once I see the Apple logo reappear. And what this does is basically shuts the phone off, completely reloads the code. So if there was any software related issue impacting your connectivity from screen playing, it should resolve the issue. Well, this is happening. I recommend if you have, like I said, your TV or device that you're looking to screen share, turn that off and then turn it back on. If it's a power cable, take the power cable off and then plug in the power cable. That really helps a lot. Now, after you have done that and you're still having an issue, the next thing to check is in your settings here, you're going to want to check if you have any sort of BPN settings. So BPN settings sometimes can interfere with this connectivity. So you're going to go to general here, check if there's a BPN setting. Sometimes you might be connected to a work or school account and you need to turn that off. And the way to turn it off, if you'll see it, you'll be able to disable or remove that BPN and go ahead and check it out. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you want to do is go into your settings again. This time we're going to general and all the way bottom where it says transfer reset iPhone. You're going to click on that and then you're going to click on the reset option and you want to do a quick a network reset, which is the second option. But before you do a network reset, you have to understand what this does. It basically deletes any sort of Wi-Fi connection. If you have any VPN setting or Bluetooth setting that you ever enable, it will take about a minute or two once you do it. And after you do that, you need to reconnect to the same Wi-Fi and try the screen mirroring or the AirPlay again one more time. This generally fixes a lot of network connectivity issue. Now, after you have done that and you're still having issues, the next thing is little minor thing is that sometimes if your phone is under 20%, your phone might be on the low power battery mode. So in your settings here, you're going to do battery and ensure that this low power mode is turned off like that. It's grayed out. If it's turned on like this, sometimes this will reduce functionality to save battery and things like screen mirroring and airplay will be temporarily disabled. So I want to turn that off just like that so we're not using low power mode. Along with that, the next thing you also want to check in your settings here is screen time. So screen time allows you to turn, get weekly reports based on different settings that you set up. But So if you set up a screen time like this, if you don't have it like this, you can ignore this part. But if you have one set up like this, right, it'll show you just in a second by setting this up. It's going to look like this. And all you want to do is turn off screen time because sometimes it has there's restrictions that you can set. Things like AirPlay and screen mirroring might be turned off. So we want to go ahead and turn that off like that. It might ask you for a password if you set up a screen time password. You want to make sure you disable and try screen mirroring and AirPlay again one more time. And lastly, if that didn't work, it's time to update both your phone's iOS software and the external TV or device software as well if you can. So in order to update the phone software, you go to settings, general, software update, and you want to ensure that the software is up to date with the latest version of your device at the time. As you can see, this is the latest version. Same thing on your external TV or device. You're going to have to refer to the manual or look it up to see how to do a software update if that is possible because sometimes the software might be old on your TV and you have a new software version out and it's not compatible and impacting your 
connectivity between the devices. So that's important to check. Lastly, there is a one setting that you want to check in your settings that could potentially impact it, which by default it is turned on, but you want to check in your settings here in the general where you have AirPlay and handoff. You want to make sure that this setting is set to automatic so it can automatically discover and connect to nearby AirPlay TVs whenever you're doing this. This should generally be on by default, but if it's never or ask, it might not allow you to do that. So make sure this is automatic and also make sure these are also on as well just like that just to make sure your setting didn't move from the default setting and that's about it hopefully by now your issue is resolved if so please make sure that like and subscribe but i also want to hear from you guys if you found a better way to resolve this issue make sure to leave a comment in the comment section while you're at it hit that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time